In this training video, we're going to look at headers and footers in Visio. Headers and footers have its own page. So there's pages in Visio called a foreground page and a background page. Foreground page is for diagram, background is for headers and footers. So I'm on the brainstorm original diagram page right now. I can right click this and I can then go straight to page setup to tell what kind of page this is. Page setup box now appears and it tells me it's a foreground page. So this is where all the diagrams take place on a foreground page and the foreground page has been named. There are no background pages yet, so I cannot select the background to add headers and footers for the foreground page, which is brainstorming original. So I'm about to now create a background page, which will then allow me to add headers and footers by choosing the background from the drop down under the page property section. So I'll click cancel for this. I'll now add a new page. I'm going to call it headers and footers so and rename it by double clicking. Now I'm going to right click on it to go to the page setup. I'm going to change this to a background page. Now we can see a background page has got italics right in. That's one of the ways of telling us a difference. I'm going to put a text box in the background page. I'm just going to draw it on the left hand side here. And I'm going to enter the text created by myself. Do a bit of formatting. And I'm also going to put a logo on the page. And I'll resize the logo, put it to the top right, make it a little bit smaller. Now go look at the brainstorming original page. So what's going to happen, the logo is going to come in the top right. The text box is going to be the bottom left when I apply headers and footers to the original brainstorming page. So I'm on the brainstorming original page. I'm going to right click, page setup. I'm now going to apply a background, which is the one we just created, headers and footers. There it is. I'm going to click apply and OK. And straight away I can see the headers and footers come through to the diagram page, which is a foreground page. If I wanted to get rid of the headers and footers, I can just go straight back into the page where there is a header footer applied, page setup, and just choose none, apply, OK, and now they're gone. So this, this completes now the training video on headers and footers in video, which are a separate page and they're called background pages. And you can then add supplementary information to the background page, including the text box information, logos, and to finish the video, I'll just add the header and footage back to this page. And just choose to add it again. And there we can see that it's quite easy to remove them and add them. And you could even have a situation where you have multiple header and footer pages and you choose then what you want to apply to different diagrams. But this completes the training video on headers and footers within Microsoft Visio and the use of background pages. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel.
hope to see you for the next 